Tuesday. So today I am at home. Um, I got up this morning and did my skincare routine and my blog a and I've been working. It is very cold, quote unquote, today. I'm not exactly sure what the temperatures are, but uh, we are experiencing, I guess for Houston, a severe winter storm here. Can you see there's like there's like a light dusting out there of, of white ice. <laughs> I wouldn't classify that as snow, but here it's a, uh, a category four. But <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> yeah, everyone is on panic. I had a bunch of meetings scheduled this morning and they all got canceled. Like the schools are shut down. I got a notice from my apartment this morning that there is a risk because it's, it's getting to potentially freezing temperature that our pipes will freeze. And so they've asked us to put our our, our uh, sinks and stuff and drain um, like faucets on a slow drip. So uh, that's kind of annoying. I mean, it, it's like sort of torturous hearing water drip. Like what's that sound? Uh, it, you know, is it wasteful? But I'm collating the the um, the extra water in, in mason jars. I think I'm gonna use it to rinse my beans with, so it won't go to waste, but that's kind of a, an annoying little thing. But anyways, yeah, I, um, you know, it's late in the afternoon, so I think I'm gonna whip up some of my matcha zotes, but, <clears throat> Okay, so update on the latest Tuscany candle acquisition, the Cafe Mocha. It is wonderful. It smells like I made some sort of sweet coffee in here, but it's not overly sweet. I'm really enjoying it. And if you missed, missed it in the intro, there he is, judging away. It really gives a nice, really gives a nice throw. I'm really enjoying it, so. I have not had a bad Tuscany candle as of yet. I'm so glad I don't have to go out though because I, it's one thing to be cold, okay? I spent a large portion of my life in Colorado and another chunk of my life, not a big chunk, but a chunk, in uh, New York City. So this is not like winter at all, okay? But one thing that I cannot stand and would be miserable if I experienced, if I went outside right now, is being wet and cold. So it's that kind of cold, sleety, rainy stuff that, that makes the cold feel even colder. So I'm glad I'm not going out there. Like this gentleman that just is walking by, I won't sh show, show, show him because I don't think that'd be very nice. He didn't look like he was dressed properly. He was walking very expeditiously. I have to say though, I'm very grateful to my mom for getting me this Barefoot Dreams cardigan because it's like, the perfect thing for our Texas winter here, um, in that it's you know, it's warm but not not occlusive. <laughs> it's it's really nice and it doesn't it doesn't have that staticky stuff at all. So I only wear it in the house. It's basically my my indoor robe. Um, and then at nighttime, what I've been doing lately, uh, this time of year, it's you know just cool enough here. I'm going to tilt you back a little bit so that that you're not just looking at my nose. Um, my Carol Hawkman robe, you guys, um, my Carol Hawkman robe at night, I wear my Carol Hawkman PJs, and I've been wearing my Carol Hawkman robe as like an extra blanket. You know how some people put an extra blanket on their bed? I just find that that ends up getting kicked off and, and mussed around. But going to bed with the Carol Hawkman robe on, it's like the soothing little like extra blanket cocoon. It's not picky and it actually breathes really well too. So Carol continues to blow me out of the water with her uh, with her fabrics fabric selection. So um, I haven't been to Costco in a while. I don't I don't know if they got anything new. My mom actually got some uh, Carol Hawkman socks there, um, and she's she says they're really good. They look really good. I'm tempted to get some. I mean, who doesn't need socks, right? Socks and drawers. <laughs> and ta-da! Just uh, some of the green tea and matcha oats that I topped with a little bit of the Simple Truth Organic. Uh, excuse me, peanut butter powder uh, that I got at Kroger uh, this past week during the Simple Truth Organic uh, Delios. Um, and uh, this is the uh, blueberry matcha that I'm rationing it out because they, uh, they did away with this flavor and it's really good, but I've got some new flavors coming, so stay tuned. Um, so yeah, the peanut butter powder, a dusting of cinnamon, and then um, some slivered almonds here, so. 
Yeah, delicious. Okay, side note, I would just like to point out it took me forever to get my faucet to just go on this drip uh, without a full full fledged stream. Um, so that's what's going on. This is the uh, the freeze uh, precaution. And I've just got the mason jar there. Well, hey guys, so it is evening time now and today was a pretty productive day despite all of the cancellations and what have you. I am uh, home and I just am about to run to the gym, but exciting news, despite freezing temps and the need to dribble the water at a painful rate, iHerb delivered. Um, I placed an iHerb order, I can't remember, a couple of days ago, it comes so so fast, honestly. I mean, my iHerb hauls, they, they always get here. I'm like, whoa, iHerb's already here. Um, and so if you're not familiar, iHerb, you guys, is a website that you've probably heard about here on YouTube, but I am really a fan of. And basically what it is is uh, you know, different kinds of foods and um, kind of pantry goods. Um, a lot of organic foods, a lot of like specialty foods, and then a lot of homeware kind of things. And they also have a ton of skincare that I've talked about on here before. They've got great uh, skincare from Aveeno, from Eucerin, um, as well as some CeraVe and Cetaphil. All of those are my, fa my favorites on iHerb. I reviewed a few of the other things that I've tried out there. Um, and so I will show you what I got, but you should definitely check it out. If you're not already familiar, um, you can check out everything I got um, after I show it to you. Um, I'll list it down below. Um, but it, it's really convenient because each time you order from them, everything that you purchase, they kind of give you this, this credit towards another future purchase on iHerb, so it kind of rewards you um, with cash back, and that kind of grows in your own personal account, so um, it really, really saves a lot of money at the end, end of the day. Um, I highly recommend it. Unfortunately, it is not um, one of the sites that is available on Ebates, but the savings that it, that it gets you with that little bit of cash into your iHerb account, so long as you keep going back to iHerb to repurchase things, uh, it, it really ends up uh, saving you quite a bit of money. So um, I went ahead and filmed my iHerb haul. I'll show it to you guys now while I'm in the gym and I'll check in with you later. Okay, so the very first thing that I got at iHerb is the Napoleon tomato paste. I really enjoy this um, tomato paste because I, I can't stand you know, the tomato paste that comes in that little tiny can, it, you, you don't use the whole thing, or at least I don't, and then it's like you have this empty metal can kind of rolling around in the fridge. It, it just drives me nuts. There's nowhere in the fridge to keep it. It's ugly. But this tube is so cool. Um, I've really enjoyed using it. If you're not familiar, I'll just show you here if you don't watch my recipe videos. Kind of looks like a tube of toothpaste, huh? And this brand's pretty decent in comparison to other other brands. Um, and I enjoy getting it on iHerb, FYI. Um, you can get this at Walmart too. It's a few cents cheaper, however, on iHerb. So I'm all about that savings. <laughs> All right, and um, I'm obsessed with coconut, both coconut and um, just plain regular Bragg's aminos. I um, am out of the Bragg's aminos, wanted to get coconut aminos, as these don't have any soy in them, whereas the like pre uh, plain Bragg's um, aminos do. No, I'm not really avoiding soy, but um, I'm kind of, you know, intrigued. Um, so this is by Dynamic Health. It's, uh, you know, reportedly organic, but okay. Um, and it's just kind of made out of uh, coconut tree sap. I suppose if you have some sort of coconut or nut, nut allergy, this might be problematic, but it is vegan, and I'm excited to try this brand of it. You all know. Okay, I think, so I've talked about on here that I have this compulsion when it comes to legumes where I just like collect beans, basically. Um, I mean, I eat them. It's not like, like I'm a bean hoarder. Well, I kind of am a bean hoarder, okay? But I also have a similar compulsion with sea vegetables. Um, and I, like I see them, and I see them and I have to have them. This is one of my absolute favorite ones, Dulce. It is um, some sort of red sea, seaweed, basically. Um, and this one, I enjoy the Maine Coast Sea Vegetable brand. Um, and reportedly, this is a good source of vitamin B12, um, which is something that vegans can become deplete in. 
I do take a supplement, FYI, but and my levels are fine. But um, you know, I enjoy having this as well. Um, it's quite tasty, and it, you can. I just I just eat it straight out of the bag. You can also put it in like soups and broths and stuff like that. I've heard it's good on pizza as well. Kind of looks pepperoni esque, I suppose. And so that's the main Coast Sea vegetable brand. Last time I ordered something on iHerb, I believe, yeah, last time I ordered something on iHerb, I got this Earth Circle Foods brand of, um, of goji berries, and I really, really love them. So I wanted to try out some of their other stuff. So I got me another bag of dulse. Um, and this dulse comes from Canada, whereas I guess the other one comes from the main coast. So I really enjoy cacao powder in lieu of just, you know, alkali, alkali, excuse me, alkali, gosh, I can't spit that out. Alkalinized uh, cocoa powder, like, like, you know, Hershey's cocoa powder or or what have you. <clears throat> I really like co cacao. It just has a creamier consistency. Um, I think the uh, nutritive profile is somewhat more punchy. Uh, I think it has a slightly punchier nutritive profile in terms of antioxidant capacity, but who knows? That could all be, um, that could all just be hi hype and gimmick. But this stuff tastes really good and ooh, look. All right, I'm already getting hungry. Cashew chocolate spray. Speaking of B vitamins, I also am obsessed with nutritional yeast. I've had this Now brand of nutritional yeast. My mother, who has also gotten on the vegan bandwagon and has been uh, rocking her vegan diet, by the way. I mean, she's totally hooked. I don't think she's ever going back if you want an update on the mom from. But anyways, it, just a little interjection there. The now one is 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 very good, and I just like the the size of the flakes in this. So I got myself one, and I got mother unit one. All right, and then you all um, may have seen me cook with and, and utilize the Orgain Organic uh, Vegan Protein Powder. I am just about out, and my Costco has not been carrying the peanut butter flavor that I like, and so I wanted to try a different brand, and I noticed that they had this muscle farm, like pharmacy, organic protein plant-based performance. I got the vanilla flavor because it's the most adaptable in recipes. And uh, this, this particular one contains no soy. There's no soy in this and its protein sources are, what did I see here? Pea protein, which I enjoy, and quinoa protein, protein from quinoa as well as coconut. Um, and oat bran, ooh, okay. So it's, it's kinda got some uh, different players in there, but we'll see how it tastes and I will update you accordingly. Ooh, I just dropped my dulce. <laughs> Dulcinea, okay. Now on to the beverage front. Um, I am FYI update, I do still drink Natural Calm. I oddly enough put this in cold water and drink it in the morning. I don't find that it imparts any anti-stress benefit. I have heard, you know, I do know that it's touted that if, if put into hot water, uh, can have a very calming effect, hence its name, Natural Calm. I personally drank it that way and saw, you know, it didn't really make a difference in my sleep habits, but I'm pretty calm and collected at baseline anyways. Um, unless you get me around around a bunch of beans, then I get excited. But anyways, um, I got myself this cherry flavor um, that I really like. I put that in my water first thing in the morning. I honestly just drink this for the taste. If you are intrigued by this or, you know, interested in trying it, I recommend that you talk about it with your, your treating uh, physician and or healthcare providers uh, just to make sure that there's no contraindication in your medical history for taking a magnesium supplement. My mom likes it as well, and uh, she um, asked me to get her some of the um, little uh, packets because she likes to have it um, on the go, I suppose. Uh, she likes it that way. Um, so she asked for it in that manner. And, OMG, I'm so about the packaging of this. All right, if you watch my 2017 skincare favorites, you will know that I have fallen in love with yet another Canadian brand here, Attitude. Um, their fragrance-free hand soap has just been fantastic for my hands this winter in the bathroom. I like that it's fragrance-free, it's super gentle. It's the first hand soap that I use and I don't find I feel compelled to use a moisturizer immediately afterwards. I mean, I still do, but my nails, um, 
you know, it doesn't dry out my hands whatsoever. I mean, their hand soap is fantastic. I strongly, strongly recommend it, especially since it's fragrance free, the, the one that I talked about in that video. It's great if you right before you're going to take out your contact lenses. It's great for washing your face. You don't transfer fragrance molecules onto your skin. So love it. Um, while I warn you guys against fragrance, I do like a little fragrance in my life and I enjoy having a scented hand soap, uh, apple, uh, apple scented soap here in the kitchen. So I cut this cute little um, pear scented one, pear nectar from Attitude. Okay, now back to the beverage front. I have, I have to say, viewers on my channel really make some solid, solid recommendations of products and, and what have you. I mean, if it weren't for you guys, I would know nothing about Zapsit. And now that I'm a new tea drinker, I would know nothing about Stash Tea. Stash Tea comes from Oregon. And, um, you know, I've been trying out a lot of their teas and really like some of the ones that I've had. I really like the, the flavor profiles. I think they're very good. So um, iHerb has stash teas. I went ahead and got this red velvet cupcake solely because of the packaging. I don't even enjoy red velvet cake, to be honest with you. I, I don't like it. It's just chocolate cake with a cream cheese frosting, okay, and red dye in it. But anyways, um, this is supposed to taste like that. And I like anything that tastes like chocolate cake. Um, and it's got caramel flavor in it and it's 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 got raspberry in it so oh god i'm getting i'm getting hungry here with all this chocolate and, and berryness all right speaking of berry i also picked up the blueberry super fruit one i'm kind of on a um interested to compare how this is to the celestial seasonings blueberry tea which i love so so much i've decided that personally as a tea consumer my taste um, lends its, my taste is such that I really enjoy hibiscus based and teas. I really enjoy teas that have um, a little bit of licorice root and I really enjoy teas that have um, rose hips, rose hip in them. Those are my favorite flavors within teas or types of teas. I don't enjoy rooibos. I don't enjoy um, many chamomile teas and I do not enjoy I don't enjoy a lot of traditional, uh, like Earl Grey, for example. I'm, I'm kind of a fruity boo. Fruity booing along, I got this one I adore. You can get this at Kroger or any, any store. This is Bigelow's Perfect Peach. And this, this Perfect Peach is, is better than Celestial Seasonings Peach Tea, FYI. Celestial Seasonings, however, this cinnamon apple spice. I mean, Kroger sold out of this in my area, and they've had it intermittently, but it was a pretty good deal on I Heard That. I absolutely love this stuff so much, um, and I like drinking cinnamon apple-y things all year round. All right, and then lastly, um, I updated my Stevia stash here. Um, I try, I'm, I'm trying out the and Now Better Stevia. Um, in these little packets. I like the packets. I know it's probably more, it's definitely more wasteful as far as paper, but this is my, my Achilles heel, these sweet leaf drops. Uh, I love this vanilla cream flavor, so I got another one of those. And then I got coconut, woohoo! So I'm gonna have, have coconut, and I'm gonna put the coconut drops in some of the um, hot chocolate that I'm gonna make. You guys know I enjoy making hot chocolate at my mom's house. I just put a little bit of cocoa powder and some warm almond milk. I've talked about it in my vlogs when I'm over there. So um, if you watch those, you'll know how to make it. And if not, well, join the club and you will learn. But anyways, guys, that's everything that I got at iHerb. I hope you guys well, hey guys, so fortunately I was able to take a, a nice warm shower after the gym. I was a little apprehensive that the pipes here would, would get too quote unquote cold and I wouldn't have enough hot water, but I sure did. Um, you know, a tip for uh, combating a dry winter skin, it's incredibly difficult, but you have to limit your showers and your bathing to no longer than, you know, six or seven minutes. The more expeditious that you are in there, the better off you'll be, okay? Because the longer you're, you're in there, the more the water is sloughing off your natural, natural skin barrier, and then, you know, the more water is subsequently going to actually leave your skin by evaporative water loss and contribute to dryness, okay? So as painful as it is, the shorter the shower, the better off your skin barrier will be. Likewise, ideally lukewarm, but I mean, come on, who can comply with that, all right? I mean, that's the recommendation, but it's like lukewarm to, to tepid, uh, ooh, it's too cold. So 
I myself like like a hot shower. Everybody does. It's difficult. But ideally, it would be lukewarm water would be the other reason so it's not boil even more water out of your skin, okay? And then the thing that you have to wrap your mind around is that while you are physically in the shower and you are wet, okay, that is when you want to put moisturizer on directly to wet skin. Even before you exit the shower, while you're still in there and at least it's warm and everything, grease your body up, okay? And the reason being is that the, the entire purpose of moisturizers isn't to like sink into the skin and bring water into the skin. It's actually the opposite, okay? It's to keep the water that is in there in there and in not you know evaporate out it's to, to seal it in okay that's what your moisturizer does um, you know it's ideally put on that way on the body um, and and on the face as well after cleansing um, I don't put my facial moisturizer on in the shower um, <clears throat> but I put it on immediately upon getting out of the shower basically to a wet face so um, I do it that way but you know that's that's a tip and no um, you know putting putting moisturizers on wet skin, you know, if you then come in after the skin is dried and put, a, you know, an active ingredient, you all ask me this all the time, like Differin or salicylic acid leave on, a leave on product, does it compromise the efficacy and penetration? It doesn't. Um, you know, it softens the top layer of the skin and, and kind of actually makes it more receptive to receiving that. So that's the best way to do it. And this time of year, if you're battling dry skin, my number one tip is Keep that shower short and grease up. So um, anyways, guys, speaking of grease up, I hope you enjoyed the iHerb haul. Um, they have some great body moisturizers if you're on the cruelty-free vegan bandwagon. This, this Earth Science Multi-Therapy Ceramide one is pretty good. They have many others. But um, anyways, I hope you all enjoyed the vlog. I'm going to conclude it here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.